What's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel Kono Pro. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick walkthrough of some roofing getting taken care of, some scaffolding getting thrown up, and some uh, scratch coat and brown coat getting handled. So stay tuned and we're going to be also throwing in a couple tips here and there on this project. And I'd also want to highlight my vendors. These two vendors, amazing roofing company and an amazing exterior plastering company. Um, a description to their company and their info will be in the link to this video, in the description of this video. So check it out. And remember, always hire licensed guys because when you're doing work like this, that's what you need. You need their skill they bring to the table. I'm telling you, I'm not saying there's guys that aren't licensed, that aren't amazing, but you need people with insurance and bonding, um, workman's comp, everything to be doing work like this. So remember to always hire licensed contractors for this kind of work. Check them out. All right, let's go over a few tips real quick. So what we're doing on this project is we have to have the stucco done. So we're going to have the whole roof papered off and all our flashing installed, papered off, and then the only the front section is gonna get roofed, okay? And the paper is gonna basically dive into that back section right there, all the vertical section that's gonna get stucco. And the reason why you do that is so that way, you know, the, the roofing doesn't get ruined, you know, while they're installing the stucco. Not only that, and then also you, you want the roofing to be the last thing that's done. You don't want anything, that's like the cherry on the cake. So we'll have the paper ran up to the house so they can do the stucco. And then also remember there's some one by four that you have to wrap around that whole vertical section of your framing and then install Z-bar flashing on top of your paper before the stucco gets done. Shoot this tip out to you. See that fascia right there? Bam, it's already painted and finished off. We got it bondoed, wood puttied, primered, all prepped, and then we put some finished semi-gloss on that in the framing stage. And the reason why we did that is so when the roofing gets installed, you have that drip edge from the roofing, nice brown drip edge, and it's gonna, um, it doesn't have to get painted afterwards, so you don't have to mask off the drip edge once everything's done. And not only that, we spray the bottom of the eaves, and that way when the stucco gets ran up to the bottom of the eaves, a little bit gets on the eaves it's already you can just clean it off it's already painted and then if you have the stucco installed and it's color coded or needs to be painted you don't have to paint the eaves so you won't have to mask off the eaves and it just saves you a lot of time so I recommend right after you get done framing the structure passes inspection or whatever just get that get all their eaves and your fascia sprayed off first before the roofing gets installed and the stucco and there you go everybody, another amazing job done by Eric's Roofing Incorporated out of Burbank, California. Remember, you saw them here on Kono Pro YouTube channel. Their information is in the description in this video below. Check them out. And remember, we got some scaffolding coming up right now and some scratch coat going on with another amazing vendor. Alright everybody, now we got our scaffolding getting um, installed. And the company that's doing the scaffolding, and they're going to be doing the exterior plastering, um, otherwise known as stucco, to this house, is an amazing professional company. Um, highly qualified, highly skilled. All their crew, they've, they've, they've had them for many, many years. Amazing people, good, good uh, customer service, and they keep the project very clean, as you're going to see in this video. Um, the company name is MM Plastering from uh, North Hollywood, California. They're an amazing company. Like I say, um, you know, good quality, amazing to work with, really easy and uh, competitive pricing and very professional and safe. You see uh, right there, they have everything getting tied down. They lock everything to the walls um, and they come through and their work is really clean. You stay through and watch this video and you'll see what I mean. Check it out. Get up here and strap that down real quick. Finish off any nailing I need. That's what's up. This is nice. This is how you do it. We got another row right here. Go up top. We got the roofing racked so that way when they do their stucco, 
We're not gonna have the, the new roofing on there so it won't get damaged. We still gotta put our Z-bar flashing on there, which will get installed. Check it out, bam. That's how you do it. No tip regarding exterior plaster slash stucco. After your lath is finished, before they scratch or brown, you're going to want to have the roof completely roofed off or like in this case, just have it papered and all your roofing material stacked. So the weight of all the roofing material is bearing down on the framing. Then you want to have your interior drywall installed. So the interior drywall weight is bearing down on the structure. Then you want to have it scratched. And brown coated and stucco and the reason by doing that is so you really will basically have no cracks by doing that all right everybody this job is basically finished off now Got it all scratched in one day, and then they'll come back and brown it in one day, and then they'll texture it in one day. And that's what happens when you hire a nice, uh, amazing, licensed company to come through. They'll have their crew, everything will be professional, everything's protected, your structure's protected, the neighbors are protected. You know your um, money's going to be spent, and, and it's a good investment for your property to have licensed contractors do the work. Alright everybody, remember, subscribe and leave a like. Put them pour out. Peace. Thank you.